So in today's video, I take this AI Prime HD by Aqua Illumination and I make a light shade diffuser for it that turns out spectacular. So if you're interested in this model or you own an AI Prime, please be sure to like and subscribe and then stay to the end to see how this thing finishes up and to find out where you can get one of these for your AI Prime. Welcome back to IC Live. My name's Mark. As I mentioned in today's video, I'm making a light shade for this AI Prime. Now this one specifically is extremely beat up. I've had it on a tank in the garage, so it's got some spray on it. So a little bit of paint particles, I'm gonna have to sand or buff those off. It also has some other issues, like I kind of burnt the lens on it one time because I accidentally set it down and then it was laying flat and the light turned on because it was on a timer. So it burnt these LEDs right here in the center. Uh, something, I mean, it doesn't really affect it. It's, I think it's on the red channel or one of the ones in the center. Not a big deal. And then last one, the top popped off when the fan was spinning and I just so happened to graze my finger across one of the blades. The blade broke off and it also cut my finger at the same time. So yeah, this has been a funny experience. I've got a ton of AI Primes and this one right here is my most beat up. And as you can see, here's some of the spray on the fan guard. So as part of this project, I'm also going to make a fan guard. All right, so it's time to get started. And like many of my projects, this is going to start with a drawing because I don't exactly know what I'm gonna make yet. Here we go. Here is the first finished model. This is the circle fan shroud cover, guard, whatever you want to call it. It was printed in a white PLA. This is not the final color that I'm going to use. I just did not want to use some of the plastic colors I like more, plus this prints really well. So let's go ahead and try it out. And uh, well, what do you know? Fits great. Kind of just sits in there. It snaps in a little, it's got a little bit of pressure, just enough pressure to keep it out if you were to flip this over fits perfectly snug and I think it looks really good. Now it's time to move on to the shade. Here is the finished kind of test cover. Now I didn't want to make the entire shade because I didn't want to waste the plastic. I wanted to make sure that I got the fit and the angles correct. 
because this AI Prime's got a lot of angles. It has a very slight taper at the top. It has a taper and angle down the sides. And uh, oh man, the Voronoi structure to allow the airflow looks really good. And this thing fits great. Now I do notice I can make it a little more snug. So that's what I'm gonna do as I finish up the full shade in this next print. <laughs> I switched to the black ABS instead of the white PLA because I thought this was going to be a finished model and that was a failure because ABS is much harder to print with and the only working printer I have right now is that terrible GTEC that I keep complaining about. So this model is a fail and I'm just going to toss it. So I'm going to make some adjustments to the model and print again. Wow, look at this thing, it is mean. I mean, I love it. Looks really good, got some vent holes in the back. And uh, oh man, the logo took out sweet. So let's see how this thing fits. It is a little bit tighter fit than that last one. Kind of slides right in here. And then voila, perfect fit. Wow, so cool. All right, now let's go ahead and see if the clip works. So this clip slides right onto the back, locking the shade in place. It's kind of a snug fit, snaps into place, and this thing is not going anywhere. That AI Prime is secure. I can see a little discoloration stripe down the center here. That's from the black ABS, switching to the white PLA, kind of just left some artifacts in there, but overall it looks great. So next up, I'm gonna cut out the diffuser. Well, that was easy. This thing turned out perfect. Um, I really like the random structure of this type of diffuser. I mean, you can get different colors. You can also get different styles. Some have like circular patterns and whatnot. And that's where it's gonna go, right there on the opposite side though. So let's go ahead and get this thing in and see how it fits. So I made it so that just kind of, you just push it in and then when you flip this over, uh, it will actually stay in place Make sure it gets in place. I want to make it easily removable in case you wanted to get to the light or you needed to clean anything and I can't quite show you because I can't flip it over on this damn camera I got here, but uh, it sits perfectly in place So this model is basically done, but I do not like the white color. That's not gonna be the final color So now it's time to print everything in purple so good that's what happened oh no that looks like Gwen Stacy's uh, web I think spider-man's made it out here I think spider-man messed with my printers is that what happened yeah yeah daddy is gonna make a mess everywhere 
Okay, you want me to throw it away? Just follow me. Do you want me to, do you want me to take it? It's Here, I'll take it. Why did Spidey mess up your printer? I don't know. You need to ask Spidey that. And here is the finished shade. It looks really good in the purple. Um, the exterior of it turned out awesome, but I have a little flaw right here. As you saw in the last print, I was having a lot of trouble keeping the PLA adhered to the bed. Not sure why, um, thinking my offset on the printer wasn't correct. But let's go ahead and get this thing on the AI Prime. So I just remove that white clip, and then I'm gonna slide this one over just like I did with the white version. Um, it did make some super minor adjustments to this design. Nothing too noticeable except I had doubled the set of air holes you can see here on the back. And a little bit more snug, but this white clip comes right on and uh, the shade fits in there perfectly, just like the white version. Now I've got a few more pieces to go ahead and print. So I'm gonna go ahead and print the fan shroud and a clip in purple. Here's the finished fan guard. It is all done. I also printed out a purple clip, so let's go ahead and put that on first so I can get rid of this white one. And just like the white one, snaps right into place and it is good to go. So let's go ahead and take this fan guard off. It just pops right out and the purple one snaps right into place. All done. Now the next thing to do is to go ahead and secure this to the light arm and get it onto the tank. I'm using the standard aluminum mount because I have several of these laying around from when I 3D printed out other light arms for the AI Prime. And uh, unfortunately I don't have one specifically for the Fluval, which this is going on. I'm replacing this light. This light's only a few months old if you saw the build video for this, but the light failed and it is under warranty, however, of course, I can't find the receipt for purchasing this tank, so oh well, it is a terrible light on that tank anyways, and this is looking pretty sweet. I just gotta do a little bit of cord management to get this thing plugged in and then get these cords stuffed back into the stand, and it is ready to rock. I had this intensity set pretty low for the AI Prime because the Fluval tank has been sitting without a light for several weeks after its light failure, but look at the light spill with this shade. I mean, there's very little on the walls and the diffuser is looking really cool. When I start to up the intensity of this light, I can totally tell that this is gonna do a really good job spreading this light throughout the tank. Now, because of the really large rock that I stuffed into this thing, I do have a lot of shadowing in the front, but oh well, there's a lot of space for coral and that will just be a little cave area. If you'd like to get your hands on this model, I've made it available on iclive.com. You can also shoot me a message and I will send you the STL files at no cost. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment about what I should make next. And I will see you live in the next video.